Happy Friday, everybody. Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com with the second half of that Gypsy Queen we popped open the other night. 2019 Topps Gypsy Queen Baseball five box half case random team break number four. Remember, we marked all of those number four in the previous break. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting in. Remember, one spot gets you two teams, so let's double you up like Sir Mix a lot. And all 30 are in. And let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list four and a one, five times. One, two, three, four, and a one. Five times. The Jordan, what's going on? After five times, four and a one. Jeremy Merle down to TJ. Four and a one, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. After five times, we've got the Pirates down to the Tribe, the Indians. All right, Jeremy Merle, you got the Pirates. Michael with the Cardinals, Andy with the Diamondbacks, TJ with the Phillies, Michael with the Braves, Samantha, you have the Rockies, Jeremy with the Mariners, Hiller, you got the Tigers, Mike with the Mets, Jeremy with the Rays, Mike with the Angels, Hiller with the A's, Jeremy with the Royals, Michael, you got my Dodgers, David Bruins with the Nats, Vince with the Cubbies, James with the Twins, Jeremy with the Blue Jays, David Padres, Andy O, Boston Red Sox, Craig, your last spot mojo teams, Astros and Yankees, that could be... That could be an ALCS right there. Brewers for Vince. Jeremy Merle with the White Sox. James with the Marlins. Jeremy Merle with the Rangers. Oppo Joe Mojo for Jeremy. Michael with the O's. Reds for Samantha. And TJ with the Tribe. All right. Feel free to trade if you would like. And while you're considering a trade, let me drop this link in the chat. We're going to be, our shipping team will be using this variation guide that I just dropped into the chat. Maybe I can bring it up on the screen here. There it is. Wait for it. So just in the interest of time, um, we're just going to breeze through this break and just and just kind of pull serial numbered cards, uh, like obvious serial numbered cards and autographs, obviously, of course. But these bazooka backs and all these other short prints and variations and whatnot, our shipping team will be looking at the little serial numbers on the back of the cards and we'll be pulling those. I'll make sure to try to put every single card. Uh, it'll be quick, but on the, on the screen just to get it on the record. So for, uh, for your accounting purposes. Any trade? Not even a whisper of a trade. Print and rip? Phil, Phillies are up for trades, is TJ. So we'll give it a few seconds here to see if anybody wants the Phillies from TJ. All right, trade window going once. Trade window going twice. Trade window closed. Sold. All right. Let's print and let's rip. Let's see, I did have some picks. I had the, I had the Marlins, they did not win today. Colorado beat them 6-1. I've got the Oakland A's, that game just started. I have the Giants, that game just started. I have the Dodgers. That game just started, and I have the Seattle Mariners. That game just started. They're already up one nothing, on a hit. Someone hit a home run. They must have, right? Oh, Malik Smith, leadoff homer, one nothing, off of uh, Nate Eovaldi. Maybe World Series hangover for the Red Sox. So there it is, random team four. That list you saw on the previous screen is now official. It's printed out. And let's go. Good luck, everyone.
Oh, one thing I do want to see, I hope we see an autograph in one of these chrome box toppers. I think that would be pretty cool. We haven't seen one of those yet. All right, good luck, everybody. Final scores in baseball. Tampa Bay Rays beat the Astros 4-2. to two. Charlie Morton with the win, who's a, who's a Tampa Bay Ray now. Garrett Cole served the loss. Alvarado with the save. Looks like Jimon Choi with a two-run single in, in that winning effort. Rockies beat the Marlins 6-1. to one. Rockies scoring four in the top of the ninth to pull away. They were leading 2-1. They pulled away in the top of the ninth to win 6-1. Herman Marquez with the win. Looks like Adam Conley, I think, with the loss. Curtis Grandison with the home run. In Toronto, in Toronto, the Blue Jays shut out the Tigers 6-0, to zero, scoring four in the bottom of the fourth, two in the bottom of the seventh, and that was that. Matt Shoemaker with the win, blanking the Tigers over seven innings at the Rogers Center. Diamondbacks Dodgers just started, Giants Padres just started, Mariners with that early 1-0 lead, Angels A's just started, and uh, bottom of the fifth, Brewer, Cardinals and Brewers are tied up. And look, Arthur saying Goldschmidt with a home run for, for the Cardinals. Nice. Yeah, that NL Central is gonna be is gonna be a dogfight, I think. Ryan Braun's two for two on the day. Yelich is one for two. He's starting the season off hot. Lorenzo Kane, two for three. Mustakis with a double. Ryan Braun has a home run. And on the Cardinal side of things, yep, Goldschmidt, first inning home run off of Peralta. With the man on, no outs. All right, box number one. All right, good luck, everyone. Here we go. I'm going to lead off with Stephen Piscotti. And there's our autograph. Our first autograph is Francisco Arcia. That goes to Mike and the Angels. Nice, that's our first auto of the box. Should be one more. It's Cody Bellinger. Focus. There's Cody Bellinger. There he is. Great start for the Dodgers yesterday. Blazer show in LA. At a 250, there's Glaber Day, Glaber Torres for Craig Goff. Now Bellinger for Michael Neck and the Dodgers at a 250. Bellinger with a home run. These purple ones are not numbered. Got another parallel. That's Steven Duggar for the Giants. Jeremy Merle with the Giants. 
and a little Oppo Joe Mojo. Oh, nice. Can those fortune TJ saying those fortune teller autographs could be numbered too, or autograph too. We haven't seen one of those yet. I'd like to, I'd like to see one of those. Like these guys, right? Keep an eye out for those. Or these guys, you mean? I think the are the tarot cards number two. Yeah, so these could be autographed too, so we'll keep an eye out for those. Josh Gregory, you think Inception fills tonight? Yes. All right, there's Andrew Bogarts. Carlos Correa, I don't think I see an autograph, and Freddie Freeman, 37, oh, that's a different parallel, oh, I see, there's a little bit more of a gold there, it's kind of hard to tell in this lighting, there it is, there's Freddie Freeman, 37 out of 50, all right, next box. Oh yeah, Josh, Josh Gregory says you already know your strategy on how to get some hits. Do you want? To, are you going to share with the rest of the class? I think that's like the holy grail. There, there could be there could be a little strategery though. Could be some strategery. Some of it's just pure luck, but there are there are smart ways to study the checklist and try to get the best value on some plays. It's definitely a thing. That's next level stuff. So let's dig into that Rays Strohs game. Let's see. Diaz went two for four on that day. It's obviously Garcia on that team, one for four. Kevin Crimeer, one for three. He has had a home run. Michael Brantley with a double. Michael Brantley, a double and a single. I feel like that Michael Brantley move for the Astros was really good. Really good. Remember, he, he was borderline. He was he finished third in MVP voting like three or four years ago. So if he if he if he can even get a little bit of that back for the Astros, that's just kind of unfair. <laughs> Oh, is that the strategy, Josh? All right, Lou in the house. Go A's. He says, I think I picked your bra your A's tonight. Yeah, I, I've got... I'm on the A's tonight, and that's one of my for entertainment only picks right there. They're still scoreless. The game just started. They are facing Matt Harvey. Who's on the Angels now? So let's see how, let's see if Matt Harvey can revive his career. Nice. In case number block is sold out, excellent. Well, after we do a number of breaks, Mark, we'll we'll uh, I'll go through orders at some point, and then uh, we'll keep adding to the schedule. There is a chance that. Uh, well, no, they're all kind of short breaks, but there is a chance that there may be some breaks that are pushed back until tomorrow if we run out of time, but we'll try to get as much as possible done tonight. 
So I apologize for the inconvenience beforehand on that, but should be able to get most things in there before the night is through. All right. Next box. Good luck, everybody. And autograph number one of two from this box, Chance Adams, Yankees, Craig Goff. And Colby Allard for the Braves is your second autograph. Michael K. with that one. Yeah, there are tons of variations in Gypsy Queen. Our, uh, our shipping team will be going through the backs of all of these. And we'll be sorting out the uh, the variations and making sure that the that they go to you. Meanwhile, we're gonna get everything on camera like this, just for full transparency. But yeah, all those variations will ship. They've got the hard job in this one. There's Kenley Jansen for my Dodgers to 250. Joe Babcock, what's going on? The logo swab and the missing nameplates will be able, like this one, we'll be able to spot pretty early and we'll set those aside. And there's red turn two. Oh, did, yeah, sure. Where, where was where was that Hoskins? I'll throw a Hoskins in there for you. Why not? All right. If I see another one, I don't know what. Obviously, all those inserts will ship. I don't know if we find another. Oh, there it is. Uh, I think that's just a standard one. But. All right. Autos? We haven't seen them. These could be autoed. Let's see what we got here. There's my boy Kenley Jansen. Lost a ton of weight in the offseason. Got that heart surgery, so hopefully he'll be A-OK. -okay. Jose Barrios. Great start for him last night. Looked really good for the Twins. And there's Aaron Judge. His health could equal happiness for the Yankees this year. How are my Dodgers doing right now? Still tied at zero. Robbie Ray is on the mound for the Diamondbacks. Dodgers have always struggled a bit with with that lefty. 
Robbie Ray. Still very early in the game. Ross Stripling with the start tonight. While uh, Kershaw and Rich Hill open the season on the injured list. Walker Buehler isn't 100% either, so his start got pushed back as well. But Hyunjin Ryu had a great start last night. Stripling has got one hit over two innings so far. That's not bad. Only 27 pitches. I need to find a stream of that game. The, Do the Dodgers, uh, I don't know if any of you have been following this at all, but the Dodgers... TV situation has still not been ha, has not been uh, sorted out yet. Well, it I mean it has. They have got a, they've got a huge TV contract with with what what's called Spectrum now. It used to be Time Warner Cable, and um, but I think thirty percent, thirty thirty five percent of Los Angeles still don't have the Dodgers network because they don't have Spectrum TV. Like we don't have it here. We're on, a, we're on a different cable package, and they haven't sold it to this cable company yet, or any of the satellite companies either. So there's a huge chunk of the population that do not get to see the Dodgers unless it's a national, nationally televised game, which is crazy. And there's more kids end up streaming the game, so... You can still find it. It's out there in the in the the wilds of the internet. Oh, AJ Pollock just homered to left center field off Robbie Ray, his old teammate. AJ Pollock opens his home run account with the Dodgers. Nice, Andy O, just letting me know too. I just noticed that on on MLB.com game day. Nice. I'll take that. And Goldschmidt had a second home run. So two former Diamondbacks hitting dingers tonight. Goldschmidt with two. A.J. Pollock with his first as a Dodger. Definitely looks a little weird in Dodger uniform. Just used to, used to A.J. Pollock just killing the Dodgers. Whenever he was healthy. That's the big thing. He's got to stay healthy. Yeah, TJ's mentioning that he saw him in, he saw AJ Pollock in spring training hit a bomb. Yeah, I mean, I think health has really been the only... There's Robbie Ray right there. Health has been the only issue with AJ Pollock. Whenever he's healthy, he seems to seems to crush, but... But I feel like all of his injuries were like weird injuries, right? I remember the one where he, as a Diamondback, A.J. Pollock slid into home and then kind of landed weird on his elbow, broke his elbow. Like, snap. And that was it. That was that. Good to see Corey Seager back in action, too. Nice Christian Yelich autograph. Vince with the Brew Crew. All right, he's got a nice auto. There you go. We met him at the uh, Tops Industry Conference. Nice dude. And a black and white autograph, Vlad Guerrero Sr. Wow. 
So that's the Expos logo. That definitely goes to the Nationals. David Bruins with the Nats. Got randomized the Nats. 41 out of 50. Nice. This kid is supposed to be amazing. Ooh, TJ saying, I'm glad you mentioned that to you. TJ saying Corey Seager looks ultra thin. Not sure what he did in the offseason. He was not even close to being skinny when he was uh, with the Tulsa Drillers with TJ's team. Um, I was listening. I, I, I happened to be lucky enough to have uh, the Dodgers Network. So they were they were doing a little show, a little segment on one of the Dodgers shows about him. He said that the benefit of him having those hip surgeries and whatnot well, since he couldn't really do baseball activities, he said it was a chance to just completely remold his body. So he basically just worked out and then worked out on core stuff and worked out on all sorts of different things and just spent a year just reshaping his body with like all the Dodgers trainers and stuff like that. So he said that was the silver lining for, for being out for like the entire season. There you go. That's that's right. Jeff Dorlax in the house. Dad Vlad G. All right. Let's see what we got in here. Francisco Lindor is trying to get healthy. There's Willie Adams for the Rays. And we've got George Springer, who led off with a, or not led off, but had another home run on opening day, which is crazy. Yeah, it does make sense, right, TJ, with Corey Seager? I feel like sometimes those, those think about how, how many, you know, if, I know, I know some of you are, you know, are, have played baseball, maybe have gone to, uh, to some higher levels of base, it's a lot of it's a lot of baseball. Or if you have kids, right? Little league, travel leagues, you know, it's year round now. So a lot of these younger players have been playing year round. You know, sometimes, like when a pitcher gets Tommy John or when Corey Seager has the injury that he does, sometimes that could be a blessing in disguise because they get a year for their body to just kind of relax and, you know preserves their body a little bit and they're able to kind of hit a reset button sort of physically and then be able to to be prepared in a different way. Jeff, we've been doing great. Been staying busy, which is a good thing at jazbeescasebreaks.com. Hi, Tyler. Night has been nonstop. Nonstop. Watching some basketball together, keeping an eye on some baseball scores. Auburn with that win. Michigan State taking care of business. What's up, Rick Barker? Tesla's running great. Thanks for keeping the Tesla powered, you guys. The lights on at Jaspies and the and the Teslas forever charged. It's out of Whole Foods right now. I think uh, Auburn was a surprise. I think Bossman had North Carolina going all the way, I think, maybe. He was not pleased. (laughs) 
All right. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. There's Cool Whit Merrifield, the speedster for the Royals. Jeremy Merle with Kansas City. Nice one for, once again, Jeremy Merle and the Royals. Mariners had another home run. Making it three tonight. I saw Malik Smith hit a leadoff home run. Malik Smith is not supposed to hit home runs. Tell him to get on base. There's Corey Dickerson to 250. Deep leagues, pretty solid outfielder. Maybe outfielder two in a deep league. That's good. I've got I've got uh I've got the Mariners tonight. I think a little bit of a World Series hangover for the Red Sox, and I think that uh that has something to do with it. And um missing nameplate. Nate Ivaldi struggles on the road. Maybe they, maybe you remember uh, a year or two ago when the, people were saying the baseballs were were wound a little bit tighter. Maybe maybe there's some more tightly wound baseballs. There's the Joker, Yasiel Puig, at a 250. I feel like he could have a really interesting season this year in that ballpark. He looks weird in a Reds uniform. Not used to that. Yes. Yeah, Atomic is saying Whit Merrifield led the NL or led the league with 45 stolen bases, which makes Ricky Henderson just laugh. I I am very I'm very interested in in seeing how the Royals do this year. I, I'm really hoping that their commitment to to using speed like Billy Hamilton, Whit Merrifield, etc. And and I want to they may be. A sneaky. I want them to do well because I want that trend to come back, right? Instead of just launch angle and home runs. I think some players and teams are kind of getting away from that that launch angle, you know, true outcome kind of thing. But you know, it's not entirely gone yet, right? So, which I think makes the game more exciting if you see more action on the base paths. You want to see more action on the base paths. So I'm hoping the Royals do well so they can kind of bring that trend back. Sports is always about trends, right? Everyone following this this latest trend or whatever. So the Royals do well. What up, Jose? Nice. Into that multi-sport? Yeah. Well, I'm sure we'll get to that at some point tonight. Got a pretty already packed already. One out of ten, Mike Fires. Red parallel. Nice one for Hiller and the A's. Nice out of 10. That's the first out of 10 we've seen. Should be one more autograph, wherever that is. There it is, Eddie Rosario. One of my keepers from last year. I feel like Eddie Rosario could have a 20 home run, 20 stolen base kind of season. All right, so those are your two autographs. Let's see if we have any more parallels here. And then we'll get into our final box. All right, let's see if there's any autographs in here. Uh, we will be, Sam Anthony. We will be checking the backs for um, all of those variations. We'll be looking at the codes, too. So all the codes right there, we'll be looking at our shipping team. We'll be looking at all of those and making sure they, they all ship out. George Springer, and we've got Cedric Mullins. Apologies to Carlos Rodon, who flew out of there. All 
I know, yeah, the Do Dodgers game was kind of crazy. Chilo's like, what PEDs are the Dodgers taking? The ones that the league can't find? The ones that they can't test for? The same PEDs that Malik Smith is taking? He hit a dinger today. What's Malik Smith doing hitting? He's a, he's a speed guy, not a, not a home run guy. The same PEDs that Paul Goldschmidt is taking with his two home runs today. Moose antler spray, right, all that. <laughs> Rex. Rex saying website's insane right now. Just hard to choose what break <laughs> to lose my money with. Well, I don't know, but Rex, I would I would pick something and pick something fast because before you know it, um, before you know it, we'll be backed up on breaks. Uh, in case we'll be coming up in maybe an hour or so, Andrea. I don't think he was ever going to be a Dodger. Oh, back in the day he was, though. I think the Dodgers actually drafted him, but then he went to college instead and then got drafted by the Diamondbacks. I don't know, Andrea, one, once I do this break and a couple others, I'm gonna, I will do some, go through some orders. The schedule's in the chat. And then, um, and then we'll kind of see what filled first and uh, what filled first, and we'll get that on the schedule and see when that's gonna happen, but I know it's sold out, so we'll, we'll go through all of those. Gypsy Queen, yes, is all on-card autos, although I think there are books in this. I wonder if the books are on-card. They must be. I think they are, though. And there's no relic autos, so some a lot of times the relic autos tend to be stickers, and then just these regular cards are, are the on-cards, but we haven't seen a sticker yet. That game's still tied, I think. No, Cardinals took a 5-4 lead. They're in the top of the seventh now. Oh, there are Relic Autos? See, I wonder if those are stickers, because a lot of times the Relic Autos tend to be stickers. I don't know, I haven't... I, guess, I suppose I could look it up on the bay. And Matt Olson is our autograph. There you go. That goes to Hiller and the A's. Come on, Rex. <laughs> it's never too early to start thinking about first. Rex is like, usually I want the cards to lose, but if they win, the Cubs will be in first. So, way too early. I don't even look at the standings until, I try not to even look at the standings until like a month later. Yeah, oh, are Kikuchi autos in this? That's the new uh, Japanese pitcher for Seattle. Gilo saying, I normally don't like Gypsy Queen, but the design this year looks good. There's Dylan Cousins. For TJ and the Phillies. There you go, Teach. On the board. 
with the last auto of the break. There you go. Nice. There's Scott Kingery to 50. Right, yeah, our shipping crew will be looking at the looking for the backs of those to catch all the bazooka backs and all the different variations. They'll be sorting by the codes on the back. So we'll catch all those. There's Taylor Ward to 250. Just in, in, in the interest of time, we're just kind of breezing through this a little more quickly. If we didn't have a, a bunch of breaks backed up, I, I would I would look at the backs, but busy night tonight. All right, and there you go. That Taylor Ward is to 250 for the Angels. That's right. That Philly TJ did have the Phillies up for trade. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. It was out there. All right, maybe autos here. No, a parallel though. There's Jose Ramirez for the Tribe. That also goes to TJ. There's Joey Gallo. And we've got for the Angels, Mike Trout. Nice. 71 out of 150, the $430 million man. And there you go. That's for the Angels, Mike Bogner with the Angels. There you go, Mike B with the Mike Trout. And that's it. No randomizers. Nice clean break. That was random team number four from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.